Hi, I'm Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country, East Orlando's number one real estate company. I've lived here and been selling real estate here in the area full time for over 36 years. And one of the many reasons to live here in the Orlando area is to be able to enjoy the historic Athens Theater here in Deland, Florida. This video is about the history of the Athens Theater and why you should go. The Athens Theater is a captivating gem of Italian Renaissance architecture and has stood the test of time as a unique cultural landmark here in Central Florida, offering a rich tapestry of entertainment that literally spans generations. Originally opened in 1922, it's still located at the original location at 124 North Florida Avenue here in Deland, Florida, and is easily accessible by car. Our theater is situated on the main road in downtown Deland with ample parking nearby. If you prefer walking or biking, you'll find it conveniently close to the Deland Amtrak station and the Deland Downtown Historic District, which is yet another reason to come and visit us here in Deland. Designed in 1921 by the renowned Orlando architect Murray S. King and primarily built with local craftsmen, the theater embodies top-notch design, construction, decoration, and equipment, especially for its day. Its name, the Athens Theater, stems from Deland's founder, Henry Deland, that's how they got that name, who envisioned creating a city here in Florida known as the Athens of Florida. So imagine on January 5th, 1922, the night before the theater's grand opening, the Deland Daily News hailed Athens as the Florida's most beautiful theater and an architectural gem. The official opening took place on January 6th, 1922, featuring a combination of movies, live performances, and vaudeville acts, which were really popular at the time. Originally a vaudeville and silent movie venue, the Athens Theater also hosted live show by touring artists complemented by the theater's Wurlitzer pipe organ, which is amazing to see. See, the Athens Theater was once part of the vaudeville theaters on the Keith Circuit, where traveling troops would perform in Jacksonville, the land, and all the way further south in Miami and Key West. The theater remained a vaudeville house until the decline of vaudeville, after which it transitioned more towards silent films. You know, it's pretty rare to have a place that was vaudeville, then silent films, then the talkies, all the way into today. You know, during the depression in the 1930s, the Athens Theater offered affordable entertainment with children's ticket prices just at nine cents to avoid the state's entertainment tax if it was 10 cents. Later, promotions with RC Cola allowed free entry with six RC bottle caps. Remember those? And after the Great Depression, the theater underwent a renovation to modernize itself. The first renovation in 1937 converted it from a silent film theater to a talkie theater with a new sound system and an enlarged stage for performances. So despite the conversion, the Athens Theater occasionally did still screen silent films and hosted silent film festivals showcasing the classics from the 1920s and the 1930s. So after World War II, throughout the 1940s and the 1950s, the Athens Theater continued to show a variety of films, including musicals, film noirs, westerns, and science fiction movies, which were really popular in the 50s. It was also a popular venue for live performances, such as concerts, other plays, musicals. Here's a bit of history for you right here in Central Florida. In 1955, our Athens Theater screened a controversial film, The Blackboard Jungle, which helped popularize rock and roll. This was before rock and roll was even a thing. Now, after that, a second renovation in 1958 brought a new marquee, a new concession stand, restrooms, seat replacements, and lobby refurbishments. So looking back throughout the Athens Theater's early years, the Athens Theater hosted a range of renowned performers, including Sally Rand, Mae West, Josephine Baker, Al Jolson, Will Rogers, and even a young aspiring Elvis played here. So by the 1980s, the theater fell into disrepair and faced the threat of demolition. Funds were eventually raised to save this historic building. A third renovation in 1988 restored the theater's facade to its original 1922 opening day appearance. The theater now has 450 seats adhering to fire codes while maintaining its historic charm. 
Over the years, over the generations, the Athens Theater has evolved through its various roles from vaudeville and silent movies to a community theater, a dinner theater, and more. It's been a significant part of the lives of many, serving as a venue for first dates, first kisses, and memorable moments. In 1993, recognizing the importance of Deland's heritage, Main Street Deland Association led efforts to restore the theater, with ownership transferred to the Sands Theater Center in 2004. There's been a lot of renovations because our Athens Theater is so original. In 2016, the Athens Theater underwent a complete renovation again, including new seating, new sound systems, lighting, an enlarged stage, and new dressing rooms. I'm sensing a familiar theme with the renovation. For over the last 70 years, the Athens has been the social and entertainment hub of the area, witnessing significant historical events. Today, it houses yearly plays, live theater productions, youth workshops, concerts, occasional movies, dance performances, and serves as a rental facility for various events. This theater transcends being merely a structure. It's a sanctuary where you can freely express yourself, relish exceptional entertainment, and become an integral part of the town's soul. Being able to enjoy the Athens Theater here, just 30 minutes from Orlando, is just another great reason to live here in the Orlando area. If you want to move to the Orlando area, why not call Realtor Scott Garrison and Deanna Sokoto, the experienced realtors you already know. Obviously, we're committed to and know the area with over 36 years of experience full-time selling real estate right here. We might be the obvious choice. In the meantime, I'll see you at the next show at our Deland Athens Theater.